10 Lies You Were Told About Space Hello guys. In this video I'm going to tell you about the 10 lies you were told about space. Number 1. The sun is yellow. If you've always thought our star was a bright yellow ball of fire, you were wrong. For starters, it's not yellow. It's green. Sort of. Scientists determine the temperature of a star by the color spectrum it emits. Each color has its own wavelength, and astronomers measure those wavelengths to tell how hot a star is. Cooler stars appear red. The hottest of the stars look blue. Our sun emits most of its energy at a wavelength that's close to green. But because it also emits other wavelengths, all these colors mix together, and your eyes see this vibrant mixture as white. That is, if you look at the sun from the International Space Station, from here on Earth, the sun looks yellow because our atmosphere is really good at scattering blue light. With all that blue wavelength gone, all the other colors combine into yellow. If our star was actually yellow, it would be about 800 degrees Celsius cooler. Our solar system's habitable zone would shrink, and Earth would become a frozen, lifeless rock. But that's not the only thing you were wrong about. Number 2. The sun is on fire. The sun is hot, but it's not on fire. Burning is a chemical reaction of oxygen with fuel. Like most stars out there, our sun is a ball of gas mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. It doesn't have much oxygen in it. Instead, it works more like a gigantic nuclear reactor, constantly fusing hydrogen atoms to create helium inside its core. This process releases enormous amounts of energy, and that's why the sun is so scorching hot. Number 3. You can't count the stars. It may seem that there are too many stars in the night sky for you to count, but actually you can. Although, scientists at Harvard have already done it for you. According to the Yale Bright Star Catalog, there are 9,110 stars that you can see from Earth with the naked eye. Try to count them all for yourself. Number 4. You instantly freeze in space. If you were thrown out of the airlock into the vastness of space, you wouldn't turn into a popsicle right away. That's because to freeze, there has to be a heat transfer from space to your body. But heat, or cold, doesn't travel very fast in the vacuum of space. Your body would freeze, but it would take hours to happen. By then, you'd be long dead from something else. Number 5. You explode in space. No, you wouldn't explode in space either. You would inflate, though. That's because nitrogen in your bloodstream would gather into bubbles and puff you up to double your size. But that's not what's going to kill you. It's the lack of oxygen. After 15 seconds in space, your brain wouldn't get enough oxygen through your blood, and you'd lose consciousness. After two minutes in space, your other organs would shut down one by one. Game over. Number 6. The solar system stays in place. Our entire solar system isn't just sitting in one spot in our galaxy. It's hurtling through space at 220 kilometers per s. That's seven times faster than the speed that Earth revolves around the Sun. Our solar system takes 230 million years to make one orbit around the Milky Way. The last time we were in the same location we are now, Earth had one supercontinent, and the dinosaurs were just starting to roam around. Number 7. Earth is a sphere. Earth appears round from space, but it's actually an irregularly shaped ellipsoid. It bulges at the equator thanks to the centrifugal force caused by our planet's spin. As a result, Earth is about 43 kilometers wider at the equator than it is at the poles. This makes gravity at the bulge slightly weaker, making it easier to launch spaceships from the equatorial regions than from the poles. Number 8. Planets Orbit the Sun Planets do not orbit around the Sun. All the things in our solar system are in balance. And even though the Sun is the most massive object in our planetary neighborhood, other planets are participating in this gravitational tug of war. Instead of orbiting the Sun, planets and moons orbit around a central point between them and our star. This point is called the barycenter. For Earth, this barycenter is so close to the Sun's core that there's not much of a difference. But for Jupiter, 
This point is about 55,000 kilometers away from the center of the sun. So the gas giant and the sun are orbiting each other. Number nine, there is no sound in space. In space, no one can hear you scream. That's only true to a point. Sound needs a medium to travel through. And in space, molecules are very far apart. So the sounds fade away before they can get very far. All the cosmic catastrophes, supernovas and colliding black holes go quiet before you can hear them. But some places in space have a lot of particles for sound to travel through. Like the hot gas cloud around the black hole at the center of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. It has so much gas that you can actually hear the black hole. Number 10. Space is cold. Space seems incredibly cold, but it's not. In reality, space doesn't have a temperature at all. Temperature is defined by the speed at which particles move and the amount of energy they have. In the true vacuum of space, there are no particles to move around. That's why the vacuum is temperatureless. Of course, outer space isn't a perfect vacuum. It still has particles and radiation to produce heat. Some areas of space are actually really hot, like space around stars. But the further away you get from stars, the more spread out the particles are making those areas of space pretty chilly. Some dense gas clouds can get as cold as minus 263 degrees Celsius, minus 440 degrees Fahrenheit. Apart from this, some people thinks that Mercury is the hottest planet. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. But surprisingly, it's not the hottest. It is extreme though. During the day, its surface temperature reaches 430 degrees Celsius. At night, it drops to minus 180 degrees Celsius. Oof. But the most hellish planet in the solar system is Venus. You see, Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere to retain all that heat from the sun. The Venusian atmosphere, on the other hand, is very thick, and it creates a greenhouse effect. It's like global warming on steroids. And it makes Venus a hot hell with a surface temperature of about 475 degrees Celsius. As I told earlier, the sun is not on fire because if the sun is on fire, how does it get oxygen? Though pictures of the sun sure look fiery, the sun isn't on fire the way you might think, as when paper burns. When a piece of paper is set on fire with a match, the atoms, mostly carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, in the chemical compounds in the paper, combine with the molecules of oxygen in the atmosphere to produce the chemical compounds carbon dioxide and water and to release heat and light. This is a chemical reaction that we call combustion. The sun is carrying out a much different process called nuclear fusion. Each second, the sun converts 700 million tons of the element hydrogen into 695 million tons of the element helium. This releases energy in the form of gamma rays. The gamma rays are mostly converted to light eventually. This process does not require oxygen. It does require incredibly high temperatures and pressures. I hope you liked today's video. Thank you for watching it till end. You can check out our recent videos on was the moon landing fake or what if you stuck into a black hole? Wait, what? You have not subscribed the channel yet? What are you waiting for? Subscribe now so you will never miss any video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and tell them about these lies about space. See you in the next video.